man who dumped fiancé that sponsored him abroad to marry another woman, came after five years to beg her with a piece of land. When you first meet a girl and she starts talking about her toxic ex-boyfriend, run. Run very fast. Let the heels of your legs touch the back of your head as you run. No good thing will come out of that relationship. Not only is she not as into you as that guy, but she will never get over him ever. Welcome to my channel. This story of everyday people like you and I who made avoidable mistakes in their marriage will make you realize that marrying a godly and God-fearing person is the surest way to happily ever after. If this is the sort of stories you like, subscribe to my channel so you can get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Let's get right down to it. Eric just came into the country he said he wanted to surprise his girlfriend that he hadn't seen for like seven years now. Eric has solicited the help of Jane, an intermediary, to follow him to surprise his girlfriend who he hadn't seen for seven years now. He bought a plot of land worth 6.5 million naira with an irrevocable power of attorney, meaning that the land is registered in his girl's name. He wanted Jane to go in order to help him plead with her and see if she can persuade Helen to take him back. Miss Jane, I really want her back. I don't know where to start my story. It's a pathetic story. I bit the hand that fed me and I'm reaping the consequences right now. My name is Eric. I want to first say, thank you for coming around. I had a girlfriend I dated for five years. I really want to surprise her today with this gift. She was a very loyal lady. I love her so much and I want to say a big thank you to her for making me who I am today. She's so dear to me. She has been there for me, and she's someone I look up to. She's not materialistic like other women. She just loves me sincerely and trusts me wholeheartedly. She's not the flashy type. She's not extravagant. She loves to invest. She's industrious, intelligent, and very creative. I would have bought a car or maybe an iPhone or any other thing, but I know she will appreciate this gift more, and that's why I bought this piece of land for her. I know I hurt her, but I truly hope she can forgive me and accept me back. You know to err is human and to forgive is divine. I'm looking for a way to get her forgiveness, you know. I don't know what will happen. I'm only trying to see if she will also be excited to see me. So I just hope this works too. You told me you wanted to surprise her. What is this talk about forgiveness? You just wanted to surprise her, and you bought a land. What did you do? I understand I didn't give you much details about the whole situation. You know I haven't seen her for seven of years, you understand. That was just what happened and I know she must be very hurt by everything that happened. So I just need to see her and she hasn't seen me for years now. And I know she must be very upset. Maybe with this little gift will make her change her mind you know. That's why I have to call you and I really appreciate you coming down to help me. Her name is Helen I just need to see her. I've missed her for so long. You told me you wanted to surprise her. What is this talk about forgiveness? You just wanted to surprise her, and you bought a land. What did you do? I understand I didn't give you much details about the whole situation. You know I haven't seen her for seven years, you understand. That was just what happened and I know she must be very hurt by everything that happened. So I just need to see her and she hasn't seen me for years now. And I know she must be very upset. Maybe with this little gift will make her change her mind you know. That's why I have to call you and I really appreciate you. Coming down. You know I haven't seen her for seven years, you understand. That was just what happened and I know she must be very hurt by everything that happened. So I just need to see her, and she hasn't seen me for years now. I know she must be very upset. Maybe this little gift will make her change her mind you know. That's why I have to call you and I really appreciate you coming down here to help me. Her name is Helen I just need to see her. I've missed her for so long. I called, 
and told her I had a surprise for her from an anonymous person. I didn't want to tell her it's from you. Jane told Eric to wait in her car and watch from afar. Oh! She's here already. Hi, Jane. Good afternoon. How are you, Helen? I'm okay. Someone wants me to deliver this land documents to you. This person loves you so much and says you are the love of his life. He says you mean a lot to him and you've been dating for some years now. First of all, for more than five years, I've not really had any boyfriend. My last relationship was a mess. So I wonder who sent this to me. He says he is your boyfriend. My own boyfriend. Are you sure this is the right person? Yes, it's you. Helen. He gave me your picture, your phone number, your name and your address. You know, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm single. I've been single for more than five years now. Okay, now you can check the documents they're real. This friendship is secret though, because I am not dating anyone right now. My goodness. Who is this? This is serious. Do you like it? I do, but I really want to know this person. Okay. Jane beckoned on Eric. He came out of the car while Helen was still looking at the papers. As soon as she lifted up her head she saw Eric. Good afternoon. Is this a dream? Helen, please 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 please. I am sorry. Eric knelt down. He begged and pleaded. He was also humble, respectful and apologetic. I don't want to see you, please? Please just hear him out. Listen, Helen, I know you are very angry. Please, 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 please. Are you serious? I don't understand. Why are you here? I know you have every right to be angry. You have every right to be upset. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm confused. What are you doing here? You have the nerves to come to my house. You think you can give me one rubbish land property to forgive you for everything you did to me all these years? I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm sorry for all I put you through. If I hear one word from you or anything, I will break your head. I want you to keep your mouth shut and let me talk tell this woman what you did to me. Listen madam, I've been dating this guy for more than seven years. I did everything for this guy. What? I sent this guy to school. Are you serious? Yes. This fool here, I sent him to school. After that he said he wanted to travel abroad for his master's degree. I gave him money again. I'm sorry. Why is he begging me and tugging at my dress? I will kill you? This guy is an idiot. Yeah, the money my daddy used to send me to school, I didn't go to school because of him. I was using it to train his fool. I was able to train him. He said he was going abroad for his masters so that everything will be okay, for us. What did he do in return? And you are here begging me. You are here because I disappointed my father and supported you. That is why he died. He died because of that pain that his daughter was not a student of any university. Because of that money that I gave him to travel, we were sent out of our rented apartment. What? I can't believe this. Why did you bring me here without giving me the details of your atrocities? I'm disappointed. Listen, Eric. Why did you bring me in here to help you plead with Helen? Why? I feel so ashamed of myself now. If I knew this is what you were coming here to do, I would have rejected you without giving you a second thought. I know but I told you she's very upset right now. I just need you. I need you to help me beg her, please. 
I know, I have heard you. The marriage everything, 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 there's no marriage anywhere anymore. I'm sorry, Helen. She sponsored you abroad and you came back and married another woman. So why did you bring me here? To do what? Because the lady left him. The lady left. She took everything he had and left with another man. Now he's here to pick up the garbage he dumped. I'm sorry. I wasted seven years. I don't know what came over me. I don't know. I understand because I'm here to make amends. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasted seven years. I don't know what came over me. I don't know. I understand because I'm here to make amends. I'm sorry. You're sorry. I'm sorry. I know I know I know things have not been the same ever since I left. His parents dealt with me in a very bad way. They maltreated me. I know my parents hurt you and were very harsh on you but you're human and I'm sorry for everything that happened, that's why. I'm here. I want us to start all over again. Please give me another chance. I sponsored you abroad. I stopped my education and you came back. You married another woman. It wasn't intentional. I couldn't find you when I came back to Nigeria. I'm sorry. I couldn't find you. I'm serious now that I'm back. I can't live without you. My life is a complete mess without you. You couldn't find me, Eric. You could not find me. You could not find me. Madam, I'm still standing here because of the respect I have for you. I don't think I can stand this guy any longer. For many years I've been finding it difficult to date because I'm feeling that all men are the same because of what this guy did to me. What is it I didn't do or give up for him? I've done so many things that any time I think about it I see how foolish I was. What is it that I haven't done for this guy? I think you should go to my father's grave and beg his forgiveness. If he forgives you, then I will also forgive you. You didn't know where I was or how to get me. You're still trying to humiliate me again and again. So, how did you find me now? Helen left in anger and went back inside her house crying hysterically. Eric, sometimes it's better to simply keep quiet if you don't have any meaningful or truthful thing to say. Your words just rubbed her in a very bad way. You need to tell me what happened. She said you got married to another lady. You have to tell me every detail if you seriously need my help. Otherwise, I'm done. Oh my goodness. Where do I start from? After I finished my master's degree abroad, I met a lady. She was educated, beautiful and many guys wanted to date her. I was the only man who succeeded in winning her heart. She was single for a couple years after she left her abusive boyfriend and I thought she was cool. I decided to take my chance with her. Once she was attacked by her abusive ex-boyfriend in a club. I was at the bar with her. I ran over and beat the shit out of him, took him outside and beat him to a pulp for daring to lay his filthy hands on a woman. We were inseparable. We went everywhere together. Many guys envied me. I was doing well for myself. I had a well-paying job and lived luxuriously. I started a spa business for her. I took care of her parents and siblings. After two years of dating we decided to get married and we had a child together. Then one day, just a few months after my baby was delivered, she told me she was dreaming about her ex-boyfriend that she hadn't spoken to in five years. That was the first red flag but I didn't think much of it. I thought she was just being open with me. But I realized she wasn't over him so, I ended up telling her if she was dreaming about him to call him and work whatever she needed out with him. She told me that was unnecessary. Then they start hanging out with one another behind my back. 
I told her I was done with the marriage but she assured me she just needed a closure with him and was in fact following my advice. She invited me to talk to her in private. I asked her not to bring the guy. But she didn't listen. I attacked him and beat him up in front of her. She was happy I stood up for her. She clung to me that night and went home with me. We tried to see if we could work things out because I loved her dearly but shockingly she went back to him and she continued to engage in adultery. That was when I knew I had no future with her even though I loved her. So, to be with her, I'm going to have to become a toxic abusive jerk, cheat on her, even smack her around, and treat her like total shit and women will fall in love with me? This is a sad world, the days of settling down and starting a family is becoming a taboo. Living the fast life with multiple partners is the cool way to live in this wayward generation. I couldn't made it work with her, and I just walked away. I didn't want to be her backup and second option again. She left me and went back to her abusive ex who I know was abusive for sure. To make matters worse, one evening I returned from work and my house was empty. Everything in my apartment was gone except my clothes. I drove to her shop in a frenzy. Even that was empty. I called her family and they all told me they were sorry, but it was her decision, to stay or not to stay. Her mother advised me to move on with my life and not wait for her daughter. My mother called me that day that she visited in the morning and left my baby with her. We haven't seen her since then. Eric you were ungrateful because I have seen women that risked everything for their men to make it in life and they make mess of themselves and cause damages to these rare breed of women. It's so sad. Any man that hurts a good woman always get their reward from an evil woman who they will love so much but who won't love them back. The evil woman always comes and takes away from them. They take their loyal, honest, devout and kindness for granted. They deliberately do evil without thinking of the consequences and when their evil comes to bite them on the face, they go searching for forgiveness. If you know that the evil we do will come back to us someday, we will think twice before we hurt other people. You have to let Helen relax. She actually needs to heal. But what is baffling me is, you said you looked for her and couldn't get her when you came back and then you decided to marry another lady. Did you lose contact with her once you got settled abroad? How did you now get in touch with her? I don't believe that excuse. It's too lame. Eric just wept and hissed. There was nothing he could say to convince anyone he couldn't get Helen when he returned. Jane left and asked they visit Helen another day. Jane and Eric visited Helen again. She welcomed Jane but was sad she came with Eric. When Eric started to plead again, she stopped him immediately. Helen pushed and shoved Eric to the ground. She slapped him in the face and threw her phone at him. The pleading was becoming too irritable and Eric again tried to hold onto her leg. She punched him on the shoulder and swung her leg away from him. I'm sorry. My daddy is still lying there because of him, because of the heartbreak, I'm not a graduate today because of this idiot, and he's here to beg me for forgiveness. You know what, just go and wake my father from the grave. Just do that one thing for me, and I will forgive you. After much intervention and pleading, Helen forgave her ex-boyfriend. She collected the papers from the land. At least she has something to her name now. She shouldn't lose out completely. Honestly, the hurt is too much to bear. I've accepted the land documents and I forgive him, but I don't want to have anything to do with him. My father's death has left an indelible mark that will constantly remind me of what my family went through if I start dating you again or marry you. The best way to heal is not to have anything or anyone that will remind me of that pain. I killed my own father because I disappointed him. God will send a man that will love and cherish me and wipe away my tears. It seemed Eric really regretted his mistake and all the tears were from the lovely times they had and he really is afraid of never getting the same love back. 
He is remorseful. He has tested the other side of life and see what such ingratitude can do. He is the one crying and begging. Do not hurt someone who sincerely loves, cares, and cherish you. Ungrateful people always come back with tears when their way failed. This guy never thought a day like this would exist. If he knew he would honor her sacrifice. The hurt is deep, but may God bring healing. Ah, men and ladies, be careful. To forgive is divine, Helen, you need to forgive him completely so you can heal, nothing is lost yet. You can still become whatever you want to become in life. Give peace, hope and love another chance. You can't continue like this forever, you might fade away and by the time you want to start it might be already too late. You can start again by going back to school and upgrade yourself. You are worthy of love, affection, and loyalty. You need to fulfill your father's wish even now that he's not here. You will be happy you did. Perhaps your story will encourage somebody somewhere someday. Helen forgave Eric, but as for them coming back together, it would take divine intervention. Helen said she would be dishonoring her father if she married him. How would she look at his face? the face of the man who caused her father's death. She agreed it would be better for them never to cross path again as any contact with him would reignite the hatred she had for him and the trauma she went through and is still battling with. Eric, even if she doesn't take you back, you need to give her some money to put herself in a better position. Maybe that will help her look at you differently. She doesn't feel safe with you at all and her trust has been broken. You need to be a friend from afar, supporting her, and constantly beg for forgiveness. Right now, these tears don't move her at all. You know, I can't force her to be with you when she doesn't want to. I need you to relax and seek God this time. Marriage without the help of the one who initiated it in most cases do not last. What I'm saying is you have to stop letting your emotions and yourself rewrite what God has said is the blueprint for marriage. Marriages don't work because people don't do it God's way. You are gambling with marriage as far as I can see. Let God choose for yo. You have already made two mistakes. How many more can you take, Eric? Because you two will be miserable in that relationship. I just have to tell you. You really hurt her. You're trying, but let's be sincere you're trying because your wife dumped you. That's not fair. It's not fair, I'm so sorry, but if she hadn't so that means Helen is your second choice. God didn't choose that woman for you, you did. Go to God and let him lead you to the best woman for your life. I don't believe you're wiser than God. If God gave you a recipe for a healthy, beautiful marriage and you want to add your own sugar and salt to it, or remove any ingredient, you will end up with disaster. And then you say, Oh God, why did you let this happen to me? No. It's not God. It's your own decision. Be wise, brother. A genuine godly desire and passion for the things of God. Fear of God, self-control, patience, kindness, prayer, prayer and more prayer will give you a spouse that genuinely loves you and fears God. You can't succeed in marriage outside of God. There will be storms but your faith in God will help you through. You can't marry someone who makes decisions anyhow. Be guided. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 Finally, brethren, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Whenever you think about your marriage think about this verse. It will help you to treat your spouse and marriage better. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel.
click the notification bell, like, and leave your comments. Thank you for watching my video, beautiful people. Until next time, bye and God bless you.